into the stadium for the first time and guard the leads from Haslam, Lawson, Mamola, McElnay, Kelly, Saron, Roche, Reiner, McKenzie, Tyra and Roger Bennett. The sacks curve. Lawson trying to go around the outside of Haslam, no chance. But McElnay holds off a challenge from Kelly. Gardner and Lawson desperate to pass Haslam, no change in the front runners. Wayne Gardner destroying the opposition. Eddie Lawson must be wondering what he's got to do to peg back Wayne Gardner. Haslam and Saron trying hard. And here's Gardner and he's in trouble. Lawson has halved the gap. Wayne Gardner is in some sort of trouble and the Australian looks behind over his shoulder and Lawson's right there with him and Lawson leaves as they come into the stadium. Gardner's Honda has gone sick. He's lost power on the V4 two-stroke motor. The crowd go absolutely berserk and Lawson cannot believe his good luck. The race seemed out of his grasp but suddenly at the halfway stage Gardner's machine has gone sick. There goes Lawson, Gardner in pursuit, and Lawson is leading and pulling away as they get to the chicane. Ron outbreaks Christian Saron to take second bird. Lawson, a clear-cut leader. Manola is second. Haslam behind him, and here is Yachishiro in fourth place and closing in. Tyra is fifth. Rob McElnay sixth. And Saron's race is over. The engine on the Yamaha has gone sick. And Gardner almost off. What cruel luck that would have been. Wayne Gardner close to being flicked off as he exits the sax curve. And Lawson goes through the chicane. 29-year-old Californian heading for one of the luckiest wins in his long career. And Lawson wins. The chequered flag goes out. Victory by more than 13 seconds. And here's Mamola with Haslam right on his tail. It's going to be close. Two tail enders ahead of Mamola, and Randy goes through the middle of them. And his bravery pays off. Randy Mamola will take second place. Ron Haslam third home. Telehiko Tyler is fourth. Rob McElnay fifth. And the jubilant Kelly beats McKenzie for six spot. And Gardner's efforts pay off. He earns a point for 10th place. Paul Fowler spoke to an exhausted Eddie Lawson. Eddie Lawson, a terrific ride. Congratulations. Thank you. Have any problems at all? Uh, just Wayne. <laughs> but uh, I guess he, he went out, huh? Yeah. Well, he, he actually finished the race. He seemed to wave you by. Yeah, he was waving to, I think, for me to stay behind him. But uh, <laughs> I don't think we wanted to do that. And what about the bike? Well, I ran pretty good. It, uh, you know, as well as we expected. Uh, Wayne's bike was really running hard and and tough. He would have finished. And those Michelin tires once more on uh, top form. Oh, yeah. yeah, they're working great. So another victory under the belt and back on your winning ways in 1987. Yeah, well, I think uh, hopefully this is the start of uh, the rest of the season. I, I hope goes this way. Lawson tired but relieved. Manola, second home and happy. Haslam third and delighted. Moe Shandong finds its target, our defenceless cameraman, and another Grand Prix is over.